Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. It's Monet here. Hey girl, hey. Happy Sunday. You know I love a good chit chat. Get ready with me. I'm so excited to catch up. Like I feel like I feel like this is a reset. This is a cultural reset for us, okay? And yeah, I'm just excited to be up to date because Life has just been too good lately. Life has just been too good. I don't know if you guys can tell, like I'm looking extra just cute right now, except this pimple. Oh my God, look at this pimple on my nose. I'll take it y'all. Listen, if that's the worst part of my day, I will take it. But damn, damn. I'm actually gonna put something on it cause like I just can't have it staring back at me like that. Staring at you like all disrespectfully. So, excuse me. At least it's just like a red pimple. What pimple? What pimple? Hey. oh my god hi it's literally eight in the morning you can probably tell by my face but i actually i have so much like new fun makeup and i'm so excited to just put on today so i actually got my brows done i got my brows laminated I i'm seriously so obsessed i think i'm gonna be a regular for that because oh they just look so clean they look so clean. Like my brows before were cute, but they were just so fuzzy and soft. And I think I really like them like this. And I got my lashes done and they're so pretty. But also I think next time, next time I get them done, I'm going to get them like a little darker, more dramatic. We'll see after I do my makeup though, because I haven't put a full face on yet. And I'm scared that like, they're not going to be as dramatic as I like them. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I'm excited to see what this face is giving on the lashes some color corrector on because i'm really trying to just give right now but let's see let me run you down my schedule today and then i'll fill you in on what's going on this week because i mean you already know at this point you already know at this point where i'm at what i'm doing <laughs> and if you're not already on my instagram or on my tiktok that's crazy honestly because youtube is like my last platform but the realist you know this color corrector does it for me every time look at that sigma but today is basically my last day at home before I'm packing for my vacation. I'm I'm so excited. We leave tomorrow at like 7 a.m. So it's about to be late in literally 24 hours. I'm so, so excited. I'm so obsessed. I'm so like in love, girl. Like, holy shit. So I'm actually going to get my coochie wax today. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because honestly, some of the bikinis I brought were so tiny because... Also, at our, basically at the place we're staying has like its own private fucking pool. So I'm like, I'm gonna wear the tiniest. Girl, if anything, I'm gonna be butt naked laying out there. <laughs> so I'm gonna go shopping, pick up some last minute pieces today. Cause it's actually Jalen's birthday. And the fact that I can actually name drop him now is crazy. Like I feel like it's actually Boogie's birthday. So I'm so excited. I Oh, and I can also tell you Oh my gosh, I'm just gonna, am I just gonna rant to you right now? I'm just gonna give you a life update. Why not? Let's just get into it. Let's just get into it, honestly. I wanna get him some outfits. Um, Cause honestly, that's he's really been into like fashion right now. And I know I'm wearing a lot of colors. So, and he has like a lot of neutrals, which I mean, I'd be rocking neutrals too, but I feel like it'd be cute if I get him some pieces that we can like kind of coordinate with and just have extra if he needs. I also got him this necklace that he literally could not stop talking about he wanted to buy it so bad in store and i was just like no like you should just wait <laughs> like we already you already spent you know let's be smart with their money like you know and i felt bad because it's not my place to say those things and like the only reason i was saying it is because i wanted to buy it for him like as a gift and he was so sick he's like you're right you're right like let me just like not and he was just like i really like that necklace and i was like oh my god i feel so bad but little do you know I got it for you. I hope he doesn't know. I don't know how good he is at like reading a surprise. Cause you think I'm really like on your business like that? Like I'm not gonna tell you what to do grown man. But <laughs> hey, hey, at least he listened. I'm super excited to give it to him. And one more thing. Oh, I got him, I got him Drake tickets. So those that was my birthday gifts. So we're gonna go together. But also, oh my God, I can tell you this now because I already told him these things. But why did Drake, me and Drake got beef bad. Why did he reschedule the first half of his tour? Like if you, if you experience that pain too, like please comment down below. Cause that was the most trifling, like, why would you do that? 
why would you do that that's so annoying he moved it from june which literally would have been like so soon and we could have just like been like birthday gift let's celebrate like next week to october so like birthday gift we're gonna have to wait fucking six months so i'm trying to figure out i'm gonna just give him those and just we can talk talk it through right there also something so embarrassing something so embarrassing that happened is that makeup by mario sent a pr of these little these little products and i was like holy shit it's concealer time oh my god he dropped a concealer i put on my story like concealer hose concealer hose I do my mom's makeup. I'm like, makeup on my concealers. Oh my God, he came out with concealers. I film my get ready with me. Makeup by Mario concealers. Why did makeup by Mario slide up my story and say, they're actually mini foundations. They're the mini foundations, they're not the concealers. Bonk, bonk. That's when I do that bonk sound effect like, that is so embarrassing. And then for the girls, I literally had to crop it out of all my content because I was just like, wow, like not me false advertising. Like that's so embarrassing, so embarrassing. Um, and I've been using his foundation as concealer and it is literally so good. Like, I'll take this, I will take this. Like, look at that. What? So embarrassing though, I had to crop it out all my videos. And all the girls in the comments like, is that a makeup I wear concealer I see? And I'm like, no, I really thought so too. <laughs> <gasps> but um yeah that was embarrassing maybe i should just fucking read maybe if i just read maybe if i just read i just got too excited and i was just like <gasps> but anyways they're perfect for literally traveling and i have like five different shades in my little bag and i can do my whole like base just on mario which is all i really ever wanted at the end of the day so but speaking of birthdays we celebrated reefy's birthday you saw like my family has like spring fever like so many people in my family's birthdays are in like April, May, June, and July. Like that's the season. Tis the season. So yeah, we celebrated Reefy's birthday two vlogs ago, remember? And then mom's birthday was this past weekend. Literally had so, so, so much fun. Like I needed that in my soul. I needed that. I think we all needed that. It was so, like so many good laughs. It was the whole gang, okay? So... Basically, my, my gift to my mom was like a pampering weekend. The gift I gave her a few years ago was microblading for her birthday. Because it was like, it was popping, everyone was doing it, and like, it looked really good. And it made sense, because like, you know, I don't want her to pencil her brows and every day. And it worked. Like, we loved it, but it's supposed to last only two years. So, I was like, let's try lamination. Let's just try lamination. We kind of both were like taking a risk with that, because we've never done it before, and we were both kind of nervous. But my mom absolutely loves it. I absolutely love it, I think. That's gonna be our tea now, period. So win, win, win on the birthday gift. Can you imagine if it went bad? Can you imagine if it went bad and like it just was, oh no, she didn't like it. I'd be like, and it was on her birthday and it was like right before all her birthday festivities. I'm like, can you imagine they came out? Listen, we weren't even thinking that. We weren't even gonna put that in existence. Yeah, we did brows on that day and then I ended up doing mom's makeup for dinner with Gabriel. And then I stayed in and I watched Roscoe, which is, chanel her besties dog for the night and i edited my youtube video for last week and it, honestly we were slaying i loved it it was a good a good friday and then saturday we got our hair done me and mom ari came over oh my god i literally miss ari so much we haven't seen each other since coachella <laughs> and it was just overdue like i just love my bestie and just like reconnecting so ari came over and then Jalen came over and they actually met for the first time which was like finally like my girlfriend and my boyfriend meeting. That was actually one of the questions I got was, how was it when Ari and Jalen finally met? <laughs> and honestly, I was kind of nervous because I'm like, holy shit, like my two favorite people in the world. But obviously it was everything. And I'm glad we got to meet like here and just like really got to like connect. We got to meet first before like, you know, screaming over a dinner table or like, it was just, it was, it was really good. Girl, we had a time on Saturday. We ended up Ubering to mom's house. Reefy ended up pulling up at mom's. Basically, it was all six of us. So Reefy and Ari, me and Jalen, mom and Gabriel. <laughs> Got dinner, saying happy birthday. Oh, and then honestly, we had a little more time than we thought in between dinner and top golf. So we went back to the house, kept the party going, listened to some music, like was messing around and then called the uber to top golf and we had a time mom actually made a i'm actually gonna insert mom's tiktok because she did a great job with her voiceover and like just just demonstrating the night slay 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 
Like that was so cute, honestly, mom, period. And then after Top Golf, we ended up going back to the house with my aunties, with my aunties too and the whole gang. And we ended up playing gestures. We were lit, honestly, we were so lit. Like it was so fun. We were wrestling, like what? Chasing each other around the house, like playing hide and seek. I'm like, what is going on? But honestly, we were eating it. <laughs> we were eating it up. Not me like literally done my face. I'm going so fast. That was super fun. And then on Sunday, last part of like the pampering day was getting our lashes done. So me and mom got our lashes done. And here we go. Now we're just pretty little Zol. So that was last weekend. Um, and now it's Wednesday. Yes, it's Wednesday. In the past few days, I've just been getting back. I've just been like finishing on my last projects, campaigns and stuff. Just filming my YouTube videos, getting everything teed up so that I can really just have fun this weekend on vacation okay i'm actually gonna put some liner on the lashes too and just see what it gives because i wish there was i wish it was a little fuller here a vacation that only like only me and him can be excited about like that's that's so exclusive i haven't gone on like i've only been on one like personal vacation honestly you guys my life has changed so much since being like a creator i've never traveled in my life the most i've traveled was like going to visit family in california um before that and i've gone i went to like florida for like my senior trip but dead ass you guys before that i've i never went on vacation and that's why it was such a big deal for my mom too like my mom has never been on a vacation like that's why when we went to dubai it was just like so iconic like it's just such a blessing so you know all i know right all i know now from travel is like you know, the most traveling I've done is like on brand trips, which is so fun. I understand it's work, but also like it is worth it every time. And like, you know, it's such amazing memories. I can't believe I have like the opportunity to do things like that. It's, it's, it'll never get, I'll never get used to it. This one is about to hit just different. Like, first of all, with my boo, first of all, me and my boo traveling together, like, I'm so excited for that. Like, how are you on the plane? My plane buddy? What? I'm gonna be editing my YouTube, what? Honestly, I know it's gonna be so fun. Like, he's gonna be carrying my bags and shit. Like, gimme. He's the best. He's literally the best. He's literally the best. He's literally the best. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm gonna get a tan, girls. Like, I'm really. Also, the place we're staying has, like, it's all inclusive, which is amazing. It has so many amenities, like morning yoga and, like, fucking Pilates. And the beach is, like, super. It's like a mile walk, I think. But also, I'm like, Let's wake up and go see the sunrise and take a walk. Like, I have energy. Like, I'm ready to do shit. I want to just make the most of it. And, oh my gosh, I'm just so excited. I can't, how many times can I say it? So, honestly, I really plan on posting, like, in real time on TikTok, on stories, going on live and shit. And just really having fun. So, yeah, I got my stuff packed. Mom's actually going to drive me. We're leaving out of JFK because that's the only one that had a direct flight. Look how pretty this highlight is, though. Holy shit. Talk about bronze goddess. Okay, maybe I need to try the lighter one. These highlights are so pretty. Oh shit. Okay, there's like the pinkish one. That one's pretty. I can't believe my brows. I literally don't even have to touch my brows. Damn. This is actually the first lip liner I ever purchased and like loved. And it was literally like 2020. 2020 is when I really started like actually doing my makeup, y'all, which is kind of crazy to think about. I mean, I always like dabbled in it, but I never like had. I don't know, this one made me feel so pretty, like, OG, oh, it's Maybelline Rich Chocolate, I'm pretty sure. Rich Chocolate, Rich Chocolate, because that was my only liner, and like when girls would ask, I'd be like, yeah, it's Rich Chocolate. It's the only one I remembered. And this plumping gloss, I ran through, Milani. Okay, so, see, yeah, with the lashes, like, they're pretty with no makeup. But now that I have like basically a full face on, I feel like I'm missing something. But now that I'm done with my makeup, I'm like, how about I answer some fucking questions? <laughs> I answer one question y'all said. I'm gonna kind of do like a rapid fire. Thoughts about a two year age gap with the girl older and the guy younger. Okay, personally, and also when I'm answering these questions is always personally, and like there's no right or wrong. It's just like my opinion based on my experience as a human. <laughs> but I just think men need more time to mature, period. In the past, I've dated people the same age as me and it, like the gap the the maturity gap was crazy and i'm like i'm not saying that's for every man personally i wouldn't go for anyone younger than me i love me a grown man who doesn't play any games like when you first started out on social media what was your biggest problem honestly it's crazy i love this question because like obviously as you grow and as you learn and as you 
you know, build build it into your routine. You don't even realize the process that's going on, but there's there were so many different like just forefront issues at different time periods. But in the beginning, I think it was more so like not having enough time for it. And I literally was just like, ah, like in school. And you know, I want I literally was so excited. And I was like, I can't wait to get home so I can film this video. And like waiting for class to be over so I could just like hop in my car and like my brains were like my my gears were turning. I'm like, I want to film this and I want to say this and like I want to use this. I would stay up all night just like filming and editing and just like I was obsessed. I was obsessed. It was so much fun. And that was a good problem to have. Like not enough time. I don't have enough time like, to get all my ideas out. <laughs> and then slowly after that it became like problem was I didn't give myself any grace to edit and just like turn things over because I was so like used to pumping out stuff and filming and being so inspired all the time that like when the following like once i graduated and stuff i was like it's immense pressure that like i needed to turn around videos anyways my problem yeah my problems now i feel like is being consistent just dealing giving myself grace with like not hosting all the time every single day it's okay if i don't and just like being consistent is like my one key i feel like my one advice with you know content creation and wanting to build it like as a career is just like be consistent post things that you're inspired by and recently I feel like I've really enjoyed just being present in the moment and just like enjoying life like it's just been so beautiful and like I said in my last vlog too it's like I struggle with giving myself credit at all I feel like I'm not doing enough just because like I'm not at my standards that I was in the beginning but I'm like I've grown so much I've changed so much like my life is different now and yeah my problem now I think is not even being consistent because I think I still am like on a weekly basis I'm posting at least five TikToks at least one YouTube video, at least two or three times on Instagram, stories every single day, like, that's enough, Monet. You're doing enough. Even if it's not 20 TikToks a week and fucking seven Instagram posts and two YouTube videos and even more Instagram stories, like, you're still doing enough. Like, I just tell myself that. Because I'm in, like, this transitional period where it's, like, I'm wired a certain way. So anyway, yeah, that's kind of, like, my problem. I wouldn't even call them problems, they're just things you gotta work through. They're not even problems, they're not issues, they're just adjustments. Period. Do you feel any new pressure to your relationship after the hard launch? Love you, Monte. Love you, girl. Um, actually, no, I feel like it's the opposite. I feel like I'm just... I think after hard launching and seeing, like, the response that we got, I wasn't expecting anything. Honestly, I didn't really think past, like, actually getting past the hard launch. I didn't really think about, like, what kind of response or, like, I knew it was so exciting. I know I was really ready just to like share. I was just really excited to share my love and just like, I was really excited to just share it. And then once I saw like the response come in, like on everyone was just so happy. I could just, everyone else could like, everyone felt the video. I felt, I felt like everyone felt the video like we did. And I was like, am I biased? Like this is making me feel so like, mm, like I'm so biased. Cause it's like me. But then other people were like, this happened, like, I'm watching this every day. And just, like, some of the comments, like, just had me, like, oh, my God, okay, you feel the same way? You feel that through, like, my video? Like, I, we're emitting that, you know, certified flower girls in our stories every day. Like, tagging me every single day. They're posting their flower bouquets. And I'm like, girl, you better get your flowers. Oh, it makes me so happy. And just, like, just sharing the things that, like, just sharing little things. People are like, you know, I'm not settling for less. This is how I should be treated. Kind of, like, setting the, just the standard of, like, a healthy kind of, like, relationship I don't know I couldn't have asked for a better just like oh just give me chills I wasn't expecting that but just seeing all the love from it I think it's actually my 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 wax appointment hello hi there please think it's Monet yeah this is she thank you bye of course bye they don't play about that because they you put a deposit in no show you're not getting it back as they should as they should but um and that's why i went the day after i got my wisdom teeth out because i'm like y'all are not about to take my coins i pulled up literally fucking like ice packs i'm like why did i book this today okay we're back we're back we're back the camera got hot i got my coffee what's your best advice on loving yourself and keeping your priorities straight while in a relationship i really like this question because i feel like it's timely like just fully adjusting because this kind of ties into the another question that says how did you know you were emotionally available for your relationship Kind of ties into those words, like, kind of me adjusting to even, like, the thought of relationship. Because, y'all, it's so funny. Like, it's so funny that y'all have receipts of me literally a few months ago. Like, 
I'm single. I'm trying to be single forever. Like, fuck these boys. Like, no men here. Like, waste of time. Waste of energy. <laughs> Literally all the things under the sun where I'm like, I'm good with me. And I really was. And I feel like that's when it happens. Because it's crazy too. I have mom's, mom's relationship to kind of like back that up too. Like, mom was really on her shit, focusing on herself. Like, I'm going to be single forever. Literally 40... 43 years old she was like 42 years old like girl you, you know i'm gonna do my thing gabriel literally falls out the sky <laughs> and like that's literally how it, i feel like that's how it goes when you're fully just like good with yourself good with being alone you know working on yourself you know you have all the time in the world like just worrying about yourself no kids no man just you yourself and i just you yourself and you that's when you have all the time in the world for like skincare and like doing your hobbies and just fun stuff like that so like if you are single right now absorb it enjoy it it's not gonna be forever unless like you really want it to be it's not gonna be forever so just use that time invest in yourself you know build yourself up take the extra time to just do random shit that no one can tell you shit about okay and i think the first few months, I felt myself, I was just like super resistant to a relationship. I was like, this is not about to happen. Even like I knew it was going to happen. I was like, no, no, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. So I think like, it's kind of hard to explain. I didn't think I was emotionally ready. <laughs> but then, you know, if it's the right one, I think it really just says a lot, speaks a lot to your compatibility with the person that you're talking to. Like, you'll know if you have energy for that person. You will find the energy for that person you will find the time like it will naturally just like be and i think keeping my priorities straight i feel like i've definitely been adjusting i feel like that's that's like my favorite word is just adjusting <clears throat> because you know a lot of my free time before was spent towards editing filming all the extra like random shit like you know all the things that i was in my routine like i really had my routine down even like going to the gym and like all of those things all, any free time i have i'm like what are you doing? I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> and that's okay, because I'm like, getting to know someone for the first time is super special. It only happens once. And, you know, I feel like, I know there's gonna be a day where we're both just like, in sync, in routine, like, getting our shit done. You know, we're balanced. There's lots of layers to it. So I feel like I'm right now trying to figure out how to stay consistent and just like, on top of my own shit because i'm just like so i'm just floating around you know i hope i even explained that right i hope do y'all do you understand what i'm saying did i explain that right i don't have a problem like setting boundaries even like i feel like it's it's important to be real with yourself and to be real, real with your partner draw boundaries for yourself and for the relationship where it's just like so that there's no kind of questions or like guilt there on either parties just like so you can get your stuff done and you can feel good about it and you can really enjoy your time together so I think that would be my advice. What's your advice on freshman year of college? Oh my gosh, I can't believe everyone's graduating right now. Like Slay, I'm so proud of you. Like if you're graduating this year, 2023, period. I'm so happy for you. I can't believe I graduated a year ago. Like what? I think my advice for freshman year of college is make friends. Try to really try to just make, even if it's just an acquaintance, some kind of connection in each class. Even if it's just like your partner next to you, just like say something. Ask them a question, start a little combo. I'll never forget when I met like my first nurse friend. Like it was the first day of classes. I literally knew no one. I was so just scared, bro. And we, everyone's like waiting for the elevator. Everyone's like this big ass AP class, AP. And there's like 250 students in this class. So everyone's like waiting at the elevator. I'm like, I was like, are you going to anatomy? She's like, yeah. I was like, me too. And I was like, you wanna sit together? She was like, yeah. And that was history. We literally tossed our caps together. Like it really just takes one combo. And I feel like you'll know. You'll feel the energy of other people. Give them a little look, give them a little smile. Eh, eh, eh. Eh. <laughs> um, I think it's super helpful too when other people can just like, you have group chats and stuff. Like this assignment is due. I'm like that, the amount of times, the amount of times that someone has saved my ass from being like, what did you get for question number four? I'm like, what question number four? That assignment, yes, I was doing that one. 
any concerts lined up for the summer you know brent is also going on tour period like this is the season of like music this is the year of music like this gives me 2016 vibes dude like i feel like i've been at least last year i was kind of out of touch with music like no one was really dropping anything i was like okay everyone's like i guess quarantine just really like beat everyone's ass I get it but this year first of all coachella i can't get over like uh kate trinata i saw kelly uchis you know you guys know i literally i can't stop talking about it but don tolliver why why are kelly and don like everything and he's performing bookie i'm already like i'm already there i'm already at don tolliver drake i'm there brent i'm there i think it's everyone that i know that's the and those are like icons these are icons so not a juicy question, but how did you and your mom get up? How do you, not a juicy question, but how do you, not a juicy question, but how do you and your mom get along so well? I was thinking this yesterday too. I was like, I owe it literally all to my mom. Just being so, oh my gosh, my mom, I just owe it all to her and just loving me so much, unconditionally, always supporting me, always like, I just owe it all to her and i see some comments too where it's like i hope i have this, this relationship to, with my daughter and i'm like i owe it all to my mom like it's all up to us like and i'm excited to have like my i'm having a daughter i'm saying i'm having a daughter <sighs> i don't care how many times it takes i'm having a daughter and oh my god she's gonna be like it just it's all up to us so i'm excited to be a mommy not too much now not too soon now but are y'all excited for that whole journey with me? Imagine the day I tell you I literally um imagine the day I tell you I'm with child. <sighs> y'all be like, damn, I watched you grow up, I watched you graduate, I watched you this, I watched you that, and now you having your third child. That's how I'm trying to be honestly. I'm trying to I'm trying to grow up. I'm trying to live my life on YouTube. Y'all gonna be all up in it. Y'all aren't gonna see my coochie though. Y'all are not I don't think y'all are gonna be in the birth room with me. I don't think so that's gonna be a boundary i draw but i'll tell you about my story i'm scared anyway someone said tell us the fart story sis <laughs> last vlog i said that i farted in front of Buki. i was the one who did it first which is like i cannot believe because i probably would have went forever without doing that without farting in front of him like i ain't got no shame in it but it's just really not my tea like i don't really do that i don't really just fart around people it's not my thing and especially him like what but it was it was post wisdom teeth okay and i told you i got my wax literally like the day before and you know how it just be so oh no this is just like too tmi but you know what i'm saying when it's a fresh wax and like i was laying in bed and he was sitting right here and like i was scrolling on my phone trying to just be real cute like and it literally made this the <laughs> it literally was like and the way he looked over so fast, he was like, did you just fart? <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I lost it. I lost it. We both are cracking up. That's the story. That's the story. And I was like, well, <laughs> he brought it up like every day since. He's like, we're better one time you <laughs> Child, the camera does not want to see me win. <laughs> the camera wants to down me so bad. Thanks for hanging out. Happy Sunday. Um, I hope you're enjoying the vacay content. How's it going? I'm so excited. I don't want this memory to end. Like, I hate how time just be flying. Like, but yeah. I love you guys. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye.